Marvin Art. So we're doing a fun commission today. It's actually <clears throat> a copy of something that I did a while ago. That could always be good because um, I kind of know what colors to use. However, the problem is obviously it won't look the same. And B, for that one, I mixed a lot of custom colors, so it's just not going to look exactly the same. But the theme is very kind of turquoisey green. So for sure, I'm going to be using these pigments, uh, TLP Emerald, Enchantment, and I have two interferences. I have TLP Macaw, which is a kind of blue to gold interference, and I have TLP Twinkle, which is a uh, like violety blue interference, really pretty. So for my two paints, I'm going to be using whole bean, or I don't know how to pronounce it. I think whole bean, um, shadow green, which is very dark and the custom part, I'm going to be playing around with phthalo green, Payne's gray and phthalo turquoise. So the easy part is to just mix these straight up because I know what I'm doing. So very quickly, how I do it is I'm going to start with my piggies. We got, oh Lord, we've got four of those. And if you know me, you know I don't measure. I put a blue of my Josanya. So these are four ounce cups. I would say I put uh, well less than an ounce, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have to be probably adding a little more of this after I add my pouring medium. So let's start with the emerald. Tap, 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 away from the face and a good scoop now if you're doing like small coasters and stuff it doesn't really matter how much you put in as long as the color is true for my bigger stuff i do want to make sure because it's stretching out more that i do have enough pigment because i don't want it to flocculate which means i don't want the pigments to stretch out too much i just sped some of these parts up because they could get a little boring but i did the same thing dump my piggies okay. into my josanya mix them up and that's it I usually have my pouring medium in a cup and this is the bear 8300 and it's very gloopy and thick and what i normally do is i just add a this see it's still really thick i normally add a squeeze of josanya in it in here just to make it more manageable for when i pour in my cups so keep in mind since this is quite thick i'm not even going to bother adding josanya but you don't want to add too too much as long as there a bloop in there a little bit um, because you're going to have to add more Joe Sonia after to thin it. So I'm going bloop and then we'll see. I might have to add more or add more Joe Sonia. You really have to eyeball what you're doing because there is unfortunately no set really ratio to get the good consistency because every paint and every pigment even is different so how are we looking here all right this isn't horrible not so bad and I actually don't mind if my pigments are thicker and here again we're going mixy 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 I'm making sure the consistency is good and I'm liking the consistency I actually like when my pigments are a bit thicker so they hold up better than my two paints so now that I'm doing tubes, I'm going to add my bloops of this first, then thin with the Josanya bloop, 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 and then uh, play right now. Keep in mind, I am using these Glidden, no, these golden uh, fluid paints. So because they're fluid, they're not really going to affect this consistency. Something like a two paint will. So your ratios are going to be different. So I'm going to add a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then we'll see where we are. So T 
So that looks fine for now. So let me add my shadow green. Now some tubes I find like, let's say you're using an Amsterdam opaque paint, like a turquoise, um, they really gloopy and thicken up your pouring medium. So you have to keep that in mind. You might have to um, use a bit more Josanya or use a bit less of the two paint. All right, so how are we doing? See, this got gloops. So what all I do is add another bloop and thin her out. So that's why you really gotta know what you're looking for. Because even the weather can change the consistency of your paints. Okay. Could be a little gloopy, but I'll leave it for now. We'll see how she settles. Okay, so let's play with the custom colors. Definitely Thalo's Turquoise. No, Thalo's Turquoise. Oh my God, it's too early. Um, Thalo Turquoise is one of my favorite colors that I use often. So I'm only going to add, oop, I'm only going to add perhaps a bloop of the green to it to bring out some more green situation to it. Let's see. I don't, oops, I don't even really know what I'm doing as usual. Okay. So I want to, maybe I only needed two colors. Okay. Um, I'm only just a little bloop. Okay. Bloopity bloop. All right. Let's see what that does. And then in this one, I think I'm going to go, um, well, you know what? Let's mix this first and see what we got. Oops. So maybe I want like a lighter green. Oh, this is actually pretty. I'm enjoying this color. Right. It's still not too green, which is fine by me, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. And I might thin it a touch, but I'm enjoying this color. And then we're going to kind of bring all the colors together to see what we need. Um, I do think I need more of a green centric color. So yeah, that's nice. Okay. So the next color we're going to do is I will add, I'm not a, I'm not a big fail of green person, but let's just do it. Right. Well, I'm going to add a bit of that and then I'm going to figure out what we're going to add to it. All right, so here is the phthalo green, which is just whatever, right? And you know what? It's not horrible. I don't want to hate on her. You know, I, th I think I just might leave it. Okay, so let's see what we have because I have this one more mixed up and let's see what we need. Okay, so here are the tubes I just mixed up. Here are the pigments and let's see what we're missing here hmm I think should we go for like a light green like a minty green okay let's do that so what I'm gonna do to have a light color is I'm gonna do the same bloop of this no first I'm gonna add my zinc white to it then I'm going to add, come on. Oh, am I out of my zinc white? Or, come on. There we go. Okay, so to my zinc white, I'm going to add just a bloop of, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get every last bit out, a bloop of this green, and I know I'm not going to like it. Am I? Bear with me here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a bloop of this turquoise green. Now, really, I'm only going to add a bloop because A, it's going to thicken it up, and B, I don't want it this, I want it really light, okay? Like, I don't know, let's see what happens. Let's see. And this is really mostly how I build color. I usually start from like one or two that I have an idea about and um kind of build it and go from there this is nice this is very like minty icy 
blue. And I think, see how it really glooped up though? And I hardly added any. So I'm gonna add a dash of Joe. However, I think this will be a very pretty color combination. Now, normally I know you might think, oh, why are you only using one purple? However, I thought with the twinkle, um, I'm gonna kind of do it in the background of the bloom. So it will pick up some violets in the background, hopefully. But I'm pretty happy with these colors. So I'm gonna let them sit for a bit and then we will get to work. Thanks for joining. Okay, <clears throat> so my pillow paint's a little thin today. Um, I didn't mix up my Glidden Essentials eggshell, which I normally do. So I have some of these old color to goes, which they're not making anymore. Um, they're similar in consistency, but usually they're a little thinner. So hopefully um, it won't make too much of a difference, but I will, this does spin out a lot more. So I'm gonna put less pillow paint down and keep that in mind when I do my blue because I don't want full coverage. I do want negative space. So let's see, yeah, that should be good. We'll go like this. That's why like every ingredient you use really makes a difference, which is the hard thing about the bloom. I'm going to stretch it out a bit. Okay. All right, I think we should be good. Okay, okay. I'm just getting the boublés out. Because no one wants boublés in their blue maze. Okay, so let's start. So what I was thinking with the twinkle, I'm actually gonna have it around the outside only. So I'm gonna make a little, you can do a square or a circle. So I wanna keep in mind, I'm really gonna have color probably in this area here. So around the edges, I'm gonna make like a backdrop of it for some fun color. Cause the rest is going to spin off. Uh, so about that should be fine because I don't know how big my bloom will be. Why not do that? Okay, so we have an interesting, possibly cool <laughs> background. Okay. Let's start with my shadow green. Now I have to remind myself, not too much, please. All right, we'll do our Pinot Gris. You're really gonna see these sparkles in the light. Um, then I'll do my custom light turquoise. Okay, then we will do emerald. God, I hope this works. <laughs> okay, then we will do this. I can't believe I left just thick. Hmm. Are we a little thick? We are. I'm gonna put a little bloop of Josanya in there. Don't be afraid to adjust as you go. Um, because as paint sit, they can get thicker, they can get thinner. And you really want to make sure that everything is good to go for you. All right, just a bit of that. And finally, not finally, but almost finally, we have the enchantment. I don't know how much negative space I'm going to have anymore. <laughs> we'll see. And then I'm going to, oh my God, I didn't even mix my cell activator. I was so like excited to go. I didn't do it. I have some here. No, I'm just going to thin this out. So my cell activator is the Shelly Art Recipe, which is Australian Floatrol. And this is titanium white. I have some old cell activator here. I mean, it's, it's better to use fresh, obviously, but who has the time? So I'm just thinning this out because it got thickened up a bit. And I just thinned it out with some more Floetrol. Okay, finally, I'm gonna top it with my Phthalo Turquoise, which also got pretty glooperlicious. I'm gonna thin it just a touch. All right, 
right, and then the scary part happens. We're still a little glue delicious, but I'm not gonna put too much. I don't want it to take over. Okay, this is the scary part. Okay. I'm gonna put a bit of the cell activator. All right. Sorry. All right, that's a lot of blowing. Cute cells. Okay, do I wanna? All right, so let's just give it a minute to chill and we're gonna let the cell activator sink a bit. These cells are like really tiny, so I'm curious to see how they stretch out or if they're too tiny, we don't know. So because I'm gonna have negative space, I do wanna fix my petals so i'm not going crazy i'm just going to define them slightly the uh background looks really cool just like that okay I hope it spins out nicely because so far it's pretty now it's not looking as green as my other one so I hope it's not a problem this leaf is kind of weird what is she doing she's gonna go like that okay um let's just spin and see right I'm gonna go slow Uh, let's go to the light. Do I love it? I don't know. I don't know. I really like the colors. There's something about it I don't know about. So if I'm not 100% sure, I might have to redo it. I have to think about it for a minute. What's, the, what's bothering me about it? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to bring you guys to the light. You'll let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> okay, I have decided I do not like it. It's fine, but there's things that are bothering me. Number one, <clears throat> I've mixed up a new batch of cell activator because that's always better. Number two, I don't like how when I made the petals, it made very petally, two petally shapes. Now, normally I would use a skewer, but I don't have any, so I have to think about that. Number three, um, as I said, this pillow paint really spreads, so I have to put even less color down, I believe. And number four, the Thalo Turquoise really took over, so I think I'm going to switch up the um, order that I put it in. I think I'm just going to top it with a bit of the Thalo Green. So hopefully all those changes will make me happy. We'll see. So I'm just going to pour right on top.
my new cell activator. Hopefully I'll like it better. Let's see. Nope. I blew <coughs> into the pillow there. Uh, now, I don't like that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to fix a bit. Let's pretend that we just do that break into it and maybe I won't break in to anything else I just really wanted to fix that I just feel like if I leave it I mean maybe it will come off should I just give it a go I just hate leaving pieces like this okay we're not gonna do I'm gonna like go the other way you know I'm doing what I just said I wasn't gonna do but I'm trying to make it really thin I just don't like blocks of color like that. So I'm doing it more daintily and less obvious because <clears throat> when this stretches out, it uh, really gets bigger, you know? Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. She's cute and she's dainty, which we like. I am liking it better. Okay, spin her around, tilt her a bit. Okay. <clears throat> that uh, twinkle in the background's pretty awesome. Okay, how are we doing? I think she's pretty. I want <clears throat> this side to come down a bit more. So I'm gonna bring it off to the side. You guys let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.